morning everyone i hope you're having a wonderful sunday today we are playing heyday as you know uh the event is just um the little wheel how it has um the pink one where you can get some sort paper what's what paper is this expansion paper oh expansion permit got it i mean I'm sure you can expand if you get it or something like that. Anywho, so, uh, I'm in the derby again. I think we have, like, four members now. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you what. I'm in second place. Heck yeah, look at that. Second place, and the competition is, like, a, like, a lot of way. <laughs> See boats. Boats, boats everywhere. You can get your corn. Oops, double fingers. Okay. No, I needed that. No. <laughs> I know I needed that for a boat. Oh, well. Let's plant when we know we can plant. Okay, okay. I can plant something else. There we go. So, uh, I just came back from church. And we learned about how to be wiser with our words. So, you know, basically, um... How words are a blessing because other animals can talk as well in their own language, but we we have our words. We can communicate, and not only that, but we have so many languages. So they are truly a blessing to be able to communicate and just it, it's amazing. It's it's simply wonderful. I cannot express it with words. <laughs> Hello. H hello, you forgot the O. Okay, hello, thanks for joining. That's not how you spell thanks. That's not how you spell it. Oh, oof, I need to go back to school. Thanks. The last person that joined hasn't answered me yet. How are you? Thank you, phone. Thank you for correcting me. It's so hard to type long long keyboard way let's see what else can we do what happened to the bunny no more bunny i have one left which one do i choose hmm we have 14 hours left we can do boats should we do boats i feel like a boat could be a good idea one day left Hmm. Or fishing. Fishing? No. I don't know what to pick. Well, let's see the competition. The com Oof, no, I need a thousand. <laughs> I, I would need a thousand to beat them, and I only have one left. See, if you guys help me, if you guys help me, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be in this position. I'm the only one working here. I'm the only one working. Look at this guy. Look at look at this guy. He's selling the same thing again. <sighs> I'd buy his stuff, but um, I don't need that, you know. Oh, treasure. Anywho, my voice is just messed up right now. Anywho, let me take a drink of water, of course. I think that made my voice better. Glad, 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 glad. Dress. We, we need to make raspberries. Good thing I have a bunch of raspberries. I am blessed. I am super blessed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to grow old, and I'm going to have a bunch of little chickens. It's going to be amazing. Did they answer? Oh, no, I need help. That's, that's what that is for. Okay, no problem. No problema. Okay, so... Yes, 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 your sugar. Oh, I don't have sugar. Hold on. Let me make sugar. Sugar, water, mix. Okay, there we go. You can have your sugar now. So, yes, um, basically, <clears throat> uh, what we learned in church was um, that words are a blessing, that words can build or tear down. So, we have to be super careful with what we say because our words have a lot of power. The whole... Bones and sticks will break my bones, but we're, but names will not hurt me. That that's a lie. I'm I'm sorry, but but that's not true. You know. 
words can have lots of power so you got to be careful how you use it when you use it what you say with them you know also another truth is that the quality of my life is determined by the quality of my words <clears throat> i really hope i'm not getting sick um but what what they're saying is that um based on what you say it reflects your life um and something that they said about um reflecting um on your words is that whatever words you use that's a reflection of your heart and it's a reflection of how smart you are in a way because if you're using bad words or you know it's it's like why why are you doing that first off it's it sounds bad using bad words cu cursing whatever it is it sounds bad it, it's rude and there's so many other words you could be using instead you know and, and it's just it's like i now i understand that now that i explain i'm like oh okay okay i, I get it now and so i'm just saying words are powerful and I'm sure the Bible says a lot about it too. We actually get a little little paper here. Where did I put it? I think it says on here. Oh yeah, here it is. Memory verse. The tongue has the power of life and death. And that's Proverbs 18:21. So, there you have it. In case you want to find it in the, in the Bible in that wonderful little book um that we have oh yes this is this is over this finished like a while back so all my fishing 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 so yeah guys um that's what has been going on um i also cleared my space i took all the pictures that were on my phone and I deleted them and that took like half of my storage so I've been playing some games um I'll see if I can uh play them and then record them so you guys can see them we'll see can't say for sure but um uh, just letting you know <coughs> my throat goodness sake it doesn't hurt it's just stuck I don't know why I really hope I don't get sick because I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, so there's that. We haven't used Tom in a long time. We haven't needed him. No, I like my diamonds. I don't. I don't want to spend my diamonds. I did get a discount balloon, like three days ago, maybe. So there's that. What else am I gonna need for this? Milk. Oh, we're gonna need milk. Okay, milk. I need milk, 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 okay, milk, milk, okay, all right, yeah, and some trees are getting in the way, so I'm gonna have to decide on cutting them off, or letting them be, I might just cut them off, or I'll reorganize the, the place, I don't know, we'll see, some are still in the way. It looks a little different. Well, I'll figure it out later. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, buddy. Don't you worry. Because honestly, worry is a waste of time. Because we we don't nothing gets done if you worry. You know, it can't change anything. If you worry about something, you're not gonna get younger. You're not gonna get older. You're not gonna get taller. It's a waste of time to worry. So just trust God. Let him handle it. Just focus on what you need to do. Do not worry. Do not do not do that. Don't worry. Instead of that, hope. Hope. Pray. Worship. Tell God what you need. He knows it already, but he needs you to tell him. Because otherwise, it's... He might think that it's not that important to you. So, I'm just saying. Make sure you read the word. Make sure you... Give God that time. Show him that he's important to you. Give him that two minutes of your day. Two minutes. Two minutes every day. Start with two minutes. Now little by little you'll see the difference. Right? He's there. He's listening. He's our father. He's our God. He's our king and creator. 
trust him. Alright. Well, guys, have a nice day. We're halfway through level 30. Um, it's going to be fun. Ooh, I like this one. Campfire. And um, we still have a long way for the town and for the helpers. So don't you worry. We'll get there eventually. If you're liking the series of Heyday, um, let me know in the comments. You can like the video, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you play Heyday, you know where to find me. It's right there. There's four people so far. The limit is like 30. Um, we're really going to have one month out of this neighborhood that I created. So um, we'll see. We'll see what place we win on the derby. But um, like I said, it's just me working. So if I win, it's probably because God was with me. <laughs> Because I, you know, one, one person alone can't do much, you know? Especially when that person is a regular person, you know? Um, so that's why we have to go to God or to Jesus. They're, they're both God. Remember, three different people and one God. Three different person and one God. So as long as you go to one of them, um, you'll be okay. And you, God will do wonders. Remember... Something good is going to happen to you. Something good is going to happen through you. You just got to be there. Giving him time. Just listen to his word. And if you can't hear him, then we need to fix something in your relationship with him. Because if your relationship is weak, you will not know his voice. And that, that hit me hard when I first heard it um, just a few weeks ago. So something i'm gonna have to work on anyways guys thank you so much for being here i hope you like this video it's been 12 minutes thank you so much for your time as always stay active stay gold stay awesome don't forget to look for god give him at least two minutes of your day in the morning is the best time because it just resets your whole day it, it kind of sets the mood for your day just just give him time. Tell him what you want him to know. He already knows, but still, if you need help with anything, if you want to thank him for anything, um, anything like as if he was your dad, like, cause he's our father. He's our godly. He's our holy father. All right. He's there to hear us out and just just trust him. Okay. All right. He loves you and he believes in you and. We're all family, so have an awesome day. Stay gold, stay active, and don't forget that God loves you, alright? Have a nice day. Adios.